Welcome everybody. It's Thursday. It is a gray Thursday here in Philadelphia today. A little bit rainy. Not the nicest day, but that's all right because inside we've got lots of fun and action and excitement for you today. Now, if you checked out the video yesterday, you watched us play Arc de Triomphe. It was a fantastic game. I'm going to get to the winner in a second. If you missed the episode yesterday, that's okay, because it's all there on the video archive. If you're on Facebook, it's on the archive. If you're on Instagram, it's on IGTV. You can check it out, and please do so. I think you'll enjoy it. Now, we played Arc to Triumph, which was one of our Thinking Putty games in the Ultimate Putty Challenge, and I think I got 20 or 21, and I challenged you. Who could do better? Who could roll the ball under the arc more times? And uh, let me call who who won, guys. Who was the winner? The letter K. The letter K is the winner. Congratulations, you beat me, and that means you win the prize, which is our brand new falling water thinking putty. That's the one that is totally clear, but is also blue. So, congratulations for that. Now let's play another game. I'll open up the ultimate putty challenge, and as you know, we have to play whichever game magically comes to the top of the cards. And look, it's a creative game. It is called, what is it called? Don't Look Behind You. So how do we play Don't Look Behind You? Well, I'm gonna show you. Now, I want you to take out your thinking putty right about now, and I'll give you a second to do so. Take it out of the can. This is a game that's a little different. The games we've been playing are action games. We're gonna play a creative game. Don't Look Behind You. Artists don't become famous until their best work is behind them. So let's see what you can do. Make the best sculpture before time runs out. Sounds easy? We have to do the sculpting behind our back. Oh man. So I've got my timer right here. You guys almost ready? You are? How about you? You ready? Okay. All right, I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna turn around. Now, I'm gonna say that the theme today is animals. So I want you to make an animal. I want you to take a picture of it, use someone else's phone, take a picture, send it in. If your animal is better than mine, then you're gonna win today's prize. All right, so ready, set, and here we go. Boom! Do, 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 do. I am making an animal and I'm making its legs. Why am I cheating and showing you what I'm making? I should be doing it the other way so it'll be a surprise for you, but I guess I'm not going to do that. I need to make a tail. I'm making the tail. I can't see the timer, so someone tell me when we're at 20 seconds to go. I'm gonna, oh yeah, I'm gonna try to, it's, this is a trick. I'll tell you, this is a tricky game. It's a lot harder than it looks. Nine. Oh, I better hurry. Eight. Oh, seven. Oh, no. Oh, no. Six. Okay. Five. Four. Three. three two. I got, yeah. I got it. All right, here we You're go. The timer. <laughs> oh, look, it actually didn't come out half bad. Look at that. That is a unicorn. Why? Oh, look, here's my unicorn. Look at that. There he is. Out of our. Maybe it looks a little more like a bull, running bull, maybe, but it, I'm calling it Unicorn because we're gonna be featuring Enchanting Unicorn, one of our most popular thinking putties shortly. So I hope you had fun. I look forward to you sending in your photo. If your creation is more magical than mine, then you are going to win. All right, now let's move to talking about something that has always mystified me since I was a kid. How come when things glow in the dark, almost all the time, they glow green. You notice this. I mean, maybe you didn't think about it, but it's true. Why is that? Why doesn't it glow pink? Why doesn't it glow blue? Why can't it glow orange? Well, first, I'm gonna show you that it can, and then we're gonna talk about why. And it's a very interesting reason that a lot of different things collide onto the color green. So I'm gonna ask my uh, dutiful assistants here to turn off the lights. And we are going to take our glow charger that comes with our cosmic thinking putties. Hopefully you can see me all right. Oh, it's glowing. Dark, looking yeah. good. And I made, I went into my lab today and I made some 
that's falling water, and it just fell. <laughs> Made some special thinking putties just for you. And we're gonna zoom in on these. So you learn in school all about color, and you learn about the rainbow. What are the colors in the rainbow? Red, orange, yellow, blue, indigo, or green, I forgot green, indigo, violet. So we're gonna make a red, and we're gonna make an orange, and we're gonna make a yellow, and a green, and a blue, and an indigo, and a violet. So you can see that with Crazy Aaron's magic, it is possible to make all the colors of the rainbow in glow-in-the-dark thinking putty. And I had a lot of fun making these earlier. It's been a long time since I put all these colors together. So why green? Well, it's kind of a silly thing, but green happens to be the color that the human eye sees best. And we're gonna turn those lights back on for a second while we talk, so we're not in complete and total darkness. You can see me, but actually I can't see you so well when the lights are out. It turns out that green is in the middle of the rainbow for a reason. Of all the light we can see, the sun makes more green light than any other kind. You see that there? The tallest spike in the middle is green, but we don't think the sun is green, but I could argue that the sun is more green than anything else. And that's very strange, right? Well, you have a little bit of red and orange on one side and you have blue, indigo, and violet on the other side. We see white. We see all the colors blended together, even if green is the strongest color. It also means that something that is white hot, like in the middle of a fire when you see those burning embers, is actually green hot. Think about that. That is really strange. Because we live on planet Earth, and we are made to see things in this natural world, our eyes are most sensitive to the green color, which means in the dark, even if it's glowing very, very dimly, it's actually the color that we can see best. Now, I wanna tell you a very interesting story about this rainbow. We can turn the lights back out. We can go back to rainbow mode, because I think it's beautiful, and it's fun to look at. Back in 1665, so what's that, like 350 years ago, in 1665, there was a man, his name was Isaac Newton. Had you ever heard of Isaac Newton? They've Probably, I think many of you have. Well, in 1665, and this is actually true, there was a great plague traveling through England, and they closed all the schools. They sent people out to their homes in the country to not be around other people. And Isaac Newton actually was stuck at home and he started to think. And he was thinking about light. He saw light coming in through a crack in the window behind the drapes. And he thought, and he created lenses and prisms. And he was the one who figured out that white light is actually made of all these different colors. And that wasn't the only thing he did because he was stuck at home for almost a year. And in addition to sort of being the father of optics and discovering all these magical things about light and how light works, he also invented calculus, which in many ways is the next level of mathematics that unlocked the power of physics. And he discovered the secrets of gravitation, how the planets go around the sun and how the moon is attracted to the earth and how the apple falls from the tree and bonks him on the head. And all of that happened in the year he was stuck at home during a great disease. And the year afterwards, when everything went back to normal and he went back to school, he said, oh, you know, I was thinking about some things while I was there. And surprise, that were magical. And everyone thought it was amazing. And he became a full professor and he became famous in his own right. And we have benefited from all of those discoveries ever since. All right, we'll turn those lights back on. We'll move this out of the way. And I would love to tell you a little bit more about our new glow bright thinking putties. Now, glow brights are colors that are designed to glow in the dark. And this one is called dragon scales. I thought, what was a dragon? What did it look like? You know, when I was a kid and imagining dragons, this was what I had in mind. I'm gonna hold it out there for you and you can see the sparkly, shimmery scales 
there's some holographic in there, but of course the real magic is in that it glows in the dark. So we're gonna draw on this in the dark. We're gonna turn out the lights again in a moment. I'm gonna do all the lights out at once so we don't keep going off and on and off and on. I also created Wizard's Wand. This is also beautiful. Purple with shimmery, silvery specks in there. It's great, like the purple robes of a very powerful wizard. When I would dream of being a wizard, right? I mean, who doesn't want to have magical powers? I do. Well, this putty inspired me and you'll see what it does in the dark in just a second. You know, one of the things that occurred to me about being a wizard is that being a wizard is sort of like understanding science. Because to someone who doesn't understand science and they don't know the rules of how all these things work, it all just seems like magic, right? But once you learn science, once you understand, then you get to be the wizard. And that is fun. Lastly, I've got Enchanting Unicorn. And you can see Enchanting Unicorn has shimmer, it has glitter, it has sparkles, it has fluorescent, and of course it glows in the dark just like real unicorns do. And we'll see that. Let's turn out that light. Let's turn it out. We'll start right here. We'll go back to the dragon's egg. Okay, you don't see much. We're going to use that light and we're going to shine it on. Oh, look at that. That is looking pretty cool. As that little baby dragon grows inside the egg, the egg just pulses with green light, brighter and brighter and brighter. And when you use this, and you can break that egg, you can start twisting it around and see the glow. It looks really, really cool. Oh, that's dragon's egg. Now, wizard's wand, purple robes, and the tip of the wizard's wand, when he's casting a spell, in my imagination, they glow blue. And take a look there. That glows blue just like that. So cool. So neat. And you, with your own wizard's wand, can create your own magical glowing mysteries. You can just lose yourself into a dark room and just make the glow and draw and shine. And you know, there's one thing I do want to show you, and this is important. If you have a phone, which you probably have because you're watching this live stream right now, you can use the light from your phone to charge that glow in the dark. That is to help it absorb some light that then it's going to emit later. So you can use the light from your phone to draw on it if you don't have one of our glow chargers because they don't come with every single product. And the glow chargers do not come with the glow brights because you don't need it. Because you can use the light in your room or you can use the light on your phone. It's great. Lastly, enchanting unicorn. And you can see it does have this really nice fluorescent shimmer and dots and sparkles, right? But then when we turn that light out, it actually glows pink. Not everything needs to glow green. You just have to be creative and be willing to take some chances like we do here in Crazy Aaron's and I do in my laboratory. Good, good stuff here. This is great. All right. Well, let's turn those lights back on and get back into the daylight. The daylight it is. Now, of course, you can place an order for these on our website. I encourage you to do so. And if you know the name of your local toy store where you usually go when we're all out and about, send an email to customer care, giving them the name on your order, the name of that local toy store. It's okay if you don't know how to spell it perfectly, and we will give them the credit for this sale. We all need to do what we can to help support our local businesses in our local communities in a time like this. I also want to encourage you, if you're sitting at home and you would like to send me a letter, just write that letter down on a real actual piece of paper, put it in the actual mail. You can get the real address off of our website. It'll come here to our world headquarters. I will read your letter and I promise you I will respond. That is a great activity, something you can do. I love getting letters from all of you where you've included pictures, you have ideas about putties that we should create and we should put out there. And I gotta tell you, some of these putties actually came from the ideas of fans just like you. So don't think it can't happen. Be creative. Also, I know you guys are making comments on this live stream. What do you want to see me do next? I have a lot of great ideas, but I'll bet you've got even better ones. I know you do. 
send them in, post them, and we will start working on that stuff right away.